Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Whoosh! Did you hear that? That was the sound of one of the fastest trains in the world speeding by. Imagine standing on a platform, watching a train zoom past so fast that in just a few seconds, it's completely gone. But how fast do you think a train can really go? 50 miles per hour? 100 miles per hour? Try 375 miles per hour. That's faster than a Formula One race car. Trains have been around for over 200 years, but they weren't always fast. The very first trains moved at just five miles per hour. That's slower than a person running. But today, thanks to technology and engineering, we have super speedy trains that can cross entire countries in just a few hours. So how do these futuristic trains work? How can something so big move so fast? And what are the fastest trains in the world right now? We're going to dive into all of that, and along the way, you'll get to test your train knowledge with two fun quizzes. So sit back and get ready, because we're about to speed into the future of transportation. Before we get into the super speedy ones, let's go back in time. The first real train was built in 1804 by an engineer named Richard Trevithick. It was powered by steam, which means it needed a big fire to heat up water, turning it into steam that pushed the train forward. Sounds slow, right? Well, it was. These early steam trains only traveled at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But then came the Industrial Revolution, and people started improving train designs. By the early 1900s, steam locomotives could reach speeds of 100 miles per hour, which was a big deal back then. The world's fastest steam train was called the Mallard, and in 1938, it set a record of 126 miles per hour. That's still the fastest speed ever recorded for a steam train. Now let's talk about the fastest of the fast. Here are the top contenders for the speed crown. 1. The L0 Series Maglev, Japan. The L0 Series Maglev in Japan holds the world record for the fastest train ever tested. In April 2015, this futuristic train reached 375 miles per hour. 603 kilometers per hour. That's about six times faster than most highway speed limits. Japan is building a new railway that will use these trains to connect Tokyo and Nagoya, cutting the travel time in half. Two, the Shanghai Maglev, China. The Shanghai Maglev in China is the fastest train you can ride today. It reaches 268 miles per hour, 431 kilometers per hour, and connects Shanghai's airport to the city center in just seven minutes. If you drove the same distance, it would take about an hour in traffic. The train is so smooth and silent that passengers barely feel like they're moving. Three, the TGV, France. The train à grande vitesse, TGV, which means high-speed train in French, holds the world record for the fastest wheeled train. In 2007, it reached 357 miles per hour, 574 kilometers per hour. Unlike maglev trains, this one still has wheels, but it's designed with special aerodynamic features to keep it on the tracks at such high speeds. The CRRC Qingdao Sifang 2021 Maglev China recently introduced a new maglev train capable of reaching 373 miles per hour, 600 kilometers per hour. If it enters full service, it will challenge Japan's maglev for the title of fastest passenger train in the world. Time for a quiz. Quiz one, true or false? Japan has the fastest train in the world. Hey, you're watching Goalie's Pip Academy, where we teach about science, geography, history, everything about the whole world. If you want to watch these classes with no ads, no distractions, go to getgoalie.com. If you said true, then well done. That's right. The L0 series maglev in Japan holds the world record for the fastest train ever tested. Modern high-speed trains work very differently. 
Instead of burning coal or wood like old steam trains, today's fastest trains use electricity. That makes them quieter, cleaner, and much, much faster. Now you might be wondering, how do these trains stay on the tracks when going so fast? Wouldn't they just zoom off around a curve? Great question. High-speed trains use aerodynamics, which means they're shaped like an airplane to cut through the air smoothly. They also have special track designs that tilt slightly on turns, keeping the train balanced. Believe it or not, scientists are working on even faster trains. One idea is called the Hyperloop, a train that travels inside a sealed tube with almost no air resistance. This could make trains go over 600 miles per hour. Companies like Elon Musk's SpaceX and Virgin Hyperloop are already testing this technology. Another exciting future train idea is the Swiss Metro, which would travel in underground vacuum tunnels to reduce air resistance and reach speeds of over 500 miles per hour. Imagine zooming across a country in minutes. Okay, time for another quiz. Quiz two, multiple choice. Where does the Hyperloop train travel? A, on roads, B, in the sky, C, inside a tube, D, underwater. If you said C, inside a tube, then well done. That's right, the Hyperloop travels in a special tube to go super fast. Time for some fun train facts. One, the word train comes from a French word meaning to pull. Two, the longest train ever recorded was 4.57 miles long. It had 682 cars and was used to transport iron ore in Australia. Three, the fastest subway train is in China. It reaches 217 miles per hour, 350 kilometers per hour, underground. Four, a Japanese bullet train, the Shinkansen, has a special duckbill-shaped nose to reduce noise when entering tunnels at high speed. Okay, let's wrap this up. Speed, technology, and smart engineering have turned trains into some of the most amazing machines in the world. Whether they float on magnets or race on wheels, high-speed trains are the future of travel. Who knows? Maybe one day, you'll ride a train so fast it will feel like teleporting. Until then, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep learning about the amazing world of science and technology. My mind is blown! Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.